After the war in Iraq in 2003, we see um, Iraq's cultural heritage being predated on by political parties and religious groups. And heritage predation is actually the fragmentation and fracture of Iraq's cultural heritage based on sectarian, but also political divisions in the country. It's more than just things, it's people's relationship with those things. So heritage is rather different to history in that heritage has a sense of ownership and emotional in attachment. Predation is related to being predatory, so when a, a predator comes, it steals something or does a great deal of damage to it. After 2003, um, the US occupation established with its allies a political system based on fracture and fragmentation of Iraq's cultural heritage, in particular identities. The benefit for those political parties is that they can claim a, a section of Iraq and claim it as theirs, rather than strengthening Iraq's cultural heritage and national identity and sovereignty. Political parties that exploit cultural heritage are doing so for their own um, interests, uh, political interests, uh, legitimacy, and also economic interests, because cultural heritage um, in Iraq is an enormously lucrative business in the country. The Iraqi government, through the State Board of Antiquities and Heritage, has, has control. They have been seriously underfunded and understaffed not just since the 2003 war, but really going back uh, through the 1990s um, and the um, era of Saddam and international sanctions. Giving the State Board of Antiquities and Heritage the funding um, and the clout to develop a, a general plan and to have some coordinating activities around sites that need repair, um, sites that need quite delicate um, discussions around inter-community relationships um, would be a really helpful starting point. We need to be in a way selfless, selfless in explaining that this heritage is for everyone. It's not only because I'm Sunni or I'm Shia or I'm Christian that this is mine. This is for all Iraqis to enjoy and for all Iraqis to show this kind of uh, the diverse heritage to the whole world. And the paper uh, really is a wake-up call to international policy makers, uh, to heritage practitioners, uh, to NGOs, to international funders, even to the ministry, uh, to the Iraqi Ministry of Antiquities and Tourism, to really look into this and to grasp that there is really a problem. For this to happen, people who, who are the political elites, they have to be willing and accepting to allow this to happen.